Hello all. More often than not, in the process of making a game you would encounter the usage of physics. Commonly, we have to apply forces to game objects in the Unity game engine. So, in this tutorial we are going to learn to apply force to a rigid body. We will take the example of a sphere and apply an impulsive force to it. It is sphere game object by going to game object then 3D object then sphere. Adding a rigid body component to this object will put its motion under the control of Unity's physics engine. So, we click on add component and add the rigid body component. On playing the game the sphere falls under the influence of gravity. Since we don't want it let us set the use gravity property to false. Next let us add a C-sharp script to it by going to add component then new script. We give the name of the script as rigid body force and click on create and add. We already have the script ready. So, we will open it in Visual Studio. Every time the script is run, we need to set the use gravity property of rigid body component to false. The start function executes once when script is run. So, here we get the rigid body component like in this code and set use gravity to false. Now what we will do is that when the space key of keyboard is pressed we will apply a force to it in the form of an impulse. An impulsive force is applied once whenever it is triggered. A fixed update has the frequency of the physics system as it is called every fixed frame rate frame. So, in fixed update we will first sense for a keyboard input of space as in this line of code. When the space key is pressed gravity is enabled to make it behave as in real world using this line of code. Next we add a rigid body force by calling the add force method of rigid body as in here. The add force method takes two parameters as input. One the impulse vector which defines the magnitude and direction of the force to be applied. Second is how to apply force to the rigid body. Since we are going to apply impulse we set the force mode to impulse. Also, for first parameter we set the vector 3 value to a variable defined here as impulse vector. The x component and y component are set to 6 float each with z being 0. Let us run the game and see how impulse is applied to the sphere game object. On pressing space key we can see that an impulsive force is applied to the sphere and it gets thrown in the x and y direction. Due to gravity sphere also moves down. Coming back to script, if we look at the force mode parameter it also takes other values. Let us discuss them. Acceleration force mode applies a continuous acceleration to the rigid body ignoring its mass. The force force mode also applies a continuous force to the rigid body but using its mass. The velocity change force mode adds an instant change in velocity to rigid body ignoring its mass. All these force modes are implemented the same way we did for impulse except that the force mode parameter of add force method changes accordingly. We have covered everything for this tutorial. I hope this helped you. Please consider subscribing to my channel and pressing the bell button to show your support. Also, consider to like, comment and share my channel for more fun videos. I post new videos frequently, so stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.